Back in September 2010, two young men were jointly crowned the first salaried wrestlers born in the Heisei Imperial Era. One of them was a 20-year-old Takayasu. The other, you may not remember, was fellow half-Filipino Masnoyama, aged just 19. Exactly 10 years on from their historic parallel rise, both men are still wrestling. But my goodness, how their paths have diverged. While ex Ozeki Takayasu started off September 2020 with a gritty win against Takara Fuji on live TV, to be shown in full in my September 2020 Best Bouts video, Masunoyama opened up a day later before a near-empty arena in Division 4. His opponent, 18-year-old Kamitani. The fact Takayasu leads their head-to-head 5-1 -to part explains how he has come to operate three divisions above and, when healthy, outmuscle the likes of Ryuden. In fact, I was there the only time Masunoyama actually managed to beat him in September 2012. But the divergence is only completely explained by Masnoyama's appalling luck. Often finding himself short of breath since childhood, a scan just after reaching Division 2 revealed his lung capacity to be unusually small. Atrial septal defect the cause. This reportedly left him exhausted after three practice bouts in a row, even with recourse to an oxygen cylinder, and led to claims, thankfully proven false during his longer matches, that he could only fight for 20 seconds before collapsing. For a man in such daily distress, he generated amazing power, more than enough, I suspect, to defeat the likes of Tsuyukusa on day three. But alas, he couldn't, and for that, a host of further problems are to blame. Chronic hip pain. Yellow ligament ossification. Ligament damage to both knees. A dislocated right kneecap. And, judging by his appearance this tournament, a damaged left elbow too. The last two years have seen Takayasu no stranger to injury himself, of course, even dislocating his own left elbow. And this perhaps can only strengthen the bond between the two men. Although the power of old appears to be returning to Takayasu's body, there are still occasions when the expected smashing of a foe's defences just doesn't materialise. Kagayaki, the impenetrable wall, on day three. <laughs> Tochinoshin, the escape artist, on day five. Yet in between, he proved himself strong enough to handle rising star Kiribayama, and on day six, firm enough to withstand even a Tokushoryu drive. Six days down, and Takayasu had four wins to show. Four wins from seven bouts was the magic number Masunoyama needed to re-enter Division 3 this time. That entailed winning both his final matches, starting with this one on day 12 against Genbu Maru. 
A shadow of his salaried self in every way, but determined to live out his mother's hopes for as long as possible. Masnoyama claims he enjoyed a higher grade of milk than his brother in childhood. Such was his mother's drive to make a sumotori of him. That likely helps explain why his smaller body brother is now a sumo hairdresser at the same Chigano Uda stable. Four hours later that day, Takayasu returned to try and end a run of three straight defeats to the title chasers Wakataka Kage, Onosho, and Shodai. Staring him down was another member of the half Filipino brigade, Mitake Umi. Takayasu clearly took a lot of heart from that, more than enough at least to see off spirited Kotoshoho the following day and seal a prized 8th win, and with Shodai's likely Ozeki promotion freeing up an extra Komusubi slot, Takayasu had extra motivation going into his final two fights with Hokuto Fuji and Meisei. He won the first of those in my absence, here's what he did in the finale. Too strong, too alert, too hungry, and thrilled to fully use his left elbow again. Ten wins for the second meet in a row do appear to have taken Takayasu back to Komasubi, much to the delight of his ever-growing family. But Masnoyama, true to form, will not be celebrating too. Due to face Fukamiyama in his final bout on day 14, he again defaulted through injury and waved goodbye to promotion. Only the second man in 90 years to plummet from Division 1 to Division 6, he has at least settled into the role of competent lower division fighter. With Takakesho, Takanosho, and Takagenji as stablemates, he even has more practice ring strength to draw upon than Takayasu does. But I think he's long past the point of seeking to compare, and will continue doing as needs must, carving out his own unique sumo way.